Hello friends and dear children, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the smaller number and bigger numbers. Which one is the smaller number and which one is the bigger number? See children, here there is a number line. So the number line starts from the number 1 and it ends with the number 10. What is the first number here? Children, what is the first number here? It is 1. How many pom-poms are here? Only 1. Only 1. So if we add 1 pom-pom, if we add 1 to this 1 pom-pom, then how many pom-poms we get? 2. So how many are here? 1, 2. So in 1 and 2, which one is the bigger number? 2 is the bigger number. So how many more are there? There are one more pom-pom here. So in between 1 and 2, which one is the bigger number? 2 is the bigger number. And 1 is the smaller number. Okay children? If we add one more pom-pom to these pom-poms, then we get 3. Count the number of pom-poms here. 1, 2, 3. So, which one is the bigger number in between 1 and 3? 3 is the bigger number. So, when comparing with 1, how many more pom-poms are there? Yes, there are 2 more pom-poms in the number 3. So, 3 is the bigger number when comparing with 1. And between 2 and 3, which one is the bigger number? Yes, it is also 3. Okay, children? Now, let us count here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 pom-poms. So, which one is the bigger number between 3 and 4? In 3, in this number, only we have 3. But here, after 3 pom-poms, we have one more pom-pom. The number which has more objects is called the bigger number. The number which has less objects is called as smaller number. So, between 3 and 4, which one is the bigger number? 4 is the bigger number. So, when we move forward in the number line, we get bigger numbers. Now, see children, how many pom-poms are here? See children, now count the number of pom-poms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here only 4. So after 4 pom-poms, we have one more pom-pom in the number 5. So 5 is the bigger number comparing with 4. See children, here how many pom-poms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we add one more pom-pom to the number 5, then we get 6. So between 5 and 6, which one is the bigger number? 6 is the bigger number. Now see children here, you count the number of them. Now we add one more pom-pom. Then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 pom-poms here, here. One more pom-pom here. So 7 has more pom-poms than comparing with 6. So we are comparing the number 6 with the number 7. In the number 6 and 7, which number has uh, more pom-poms? Yes, 7 has more. So, 7 is the bigger number. And see children here, you count the number of pom-poms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we added one more pom-pom. So, when you compare the number 7 with the number 8, the number 8 has one more pom-pom. So, 8 is the bigger number when comparing with 7. So, if you compare the number 7 and 8, which one is the bigger number? 8 is the bigger number. Now, let us count the number of pom-poms in this number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many pom-poms are there? 9 pom-poms. When we compare the number 8 and number 9, in between these two numbers, we have one more pom-pom in the number 9. So, 9 is the bigger number when comparing with 8. So, between 8 and 9, which one is the bigger number, children? Yes, 9 is the bigger number because it has one more pom-pom than the number 8. So, it is the bigger number. Now, let us count the number of pom-poms in this number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10. So to the number 9, if we add one more pom pom, then we get number 10. Okay, in between 9 and 10, which one is the bigger number? Yes, 10 is the bigger number. So in the number line, we have smaller numbers or smallest numbers at the beginning. And when we move forward, we get bigger numbers. So between 1 and 10, which one is the bigger number? Yes, between 1 and 10, only 10 is the bigger number. Why? It has 9 more pom-poms than the number 1. So when comparing 2 and 8, which one is the bigger number? Yes, 8 is the bigger number. So here 2 has only 2 pom-poms, but 8 has 6 more pom-poms than the number 2. How many more pom-poms are there? 1, 2. After 2, how many more pom-poms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 more pom-poms are there. So, when we move forward in the number line, we have smaller numbers at the beginning and we move towards the bigger numbers. So, we get bigger numbers when we move forward. We have smaller number, we get smaller numbers when we move backwards. This is forward counting and this is backward counting. This is forward counting. In the forward counting, we add 1 to the previous number.